Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody's having trouble or asking some questions. First of all, and I don't know, maybe I think it's a DXF that you sent me, so that I'm going to change that. Uh, I can't stand for the page size, and that might be the way it came across. I'm going to make your page size 48 by 48, which is a standard. Um, so he's going to cut this out of metal. That name's not going to work. Because if you take the smart fill tool and make the metal part out of red, once it's cut this inner circle and then it cuts the outer circle, that whole circle is going to fall out. So we need to fix that. But I'm going to look at the fish first. But I'm going to make my this whole thing 16 inches. I want to make my nudge factor 7, 18. I'm going to nudge this out of the way. Now I'm going to look at it. There are 219 objects right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. On nine letters, there's 219 objects. There's something wrong right there. Look at that. There are two lines, and they're not even, none of them are connected. So that's not going to work at all. Let's see about this. Let's see if the fish is the same way. Wow. There's double, at least double lines everywhere. So, one way to get rid of that, take the Smart Field tool. Smart Field creates a new object. Left click and right click. Now, if we look at this, there's just one curve. All the lines are the same. All the lines are good. Now, I'm going to get rid of this so we don't ever use it again. I'm going to hit the plus key, and I'm going to look at the nodes. 1168 nodes. That's a lot of nodes on a plasma cutter. So I'm going to grab all the nodes with the shape tool and I'm going to type in 20. Now I've only got 436. That's almost a third of the nodes. And I would almost guarantee, I'm going to make this one black, put it on top. I would almost guarantee it changed some of the lines, but you can't really tell the difference, and it didn't do anything wrong. Now, if this is the good one now, with 436 nodes, we need to get rid of this one. Don't ever keep anything that's not any good. I would make this one red so you know it's a cut line. And I would just go around the whole fish now that we've changed it and get rid of some of these. Look at that sharp point. I mean, the plasma cutter is having to cut. This is going to burn away. So grab your nodes and, you know, you got your handle way out here. You know, bring that, of course, whenever you do this, you want to make sure you, uh, you're you not hitting. You know, give the plasma cutter a little room to move around. Do that over the whole thing. Um, you know, right here, look at that. You know, that's just not going to fly. I don't know why the handles are so long in this. But, I mean, that doesn't make any difference in the drawing. You know, look at everything. Um, you know, the trees aren't terribly bad. I mean, that, I'd almost guarantee that this point is going to burn away. So what you could do is you could move that, you know, who's going to notice that tree is a little bit different now? Um Let's look at this bottom. You know, that's a really little cut. I mean, if we look at that with the pick tool, let's just measure it with the parallel dimension tool. That whole thing is not even a half an inch long. That's a, and you're asking an awful lot. You know, it's only a 16 inch drawing, so I would at least make this thing, you know, bigger. Sure, it's going to, you know, change the graphic a little bit, but, you know, these sharp points, um, you know, even with a fine tip and thin metal, I'm afraid you're going to have troubles. Anyway, just go over the whole drawing to see if that's um, something you could change. Um, it's a nice drawing. I like the graphic. If I was looking for a fish on a hook, I would probably use it. Um, see, that's just, that's asking an awful lot. Anyway,
I've taken a long enough time on this video. I'm going to make a part two, and let's figure out how to do this right here. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.